discurso de Daniel en inglés traducido al español. The real problem is not the high taxes themselves, but the fact that they are not even really funding the government. Not even those high taxes, higher than a lot of places in the world, not even those taxes are really funding the government. So who's financing the government? Government is financed by treasury bonds, paper. And who buys the treasury bonds? Mostly the Fed. And how does the Fed buy them? By printing money. But what backing does the Fed have for that money being printed? The treasury bonds themselves. So basically, you finance the government by printing money out of thin air. Someone could ask, Someone could ask, well, so if the government can print the limited amounts of money out of thin air, why do they collect taxes? <laughs> I mean, in theory, it would make sense, right? If they can print unlimited amounts of money, why would they need taxes for? Claro, si pueden imprimir mucho dinero. The answer is simple, but it's very shocking. The real problem is that you pay high taxes only to uphold the illusion that you are funding the government, which you are not. It's shocking, but it's true. Inevitably, inevitably burst. The situation is even worse than it seems, because if most Americans and the rest of the world were to become aware of this farce, Confidence in your currency will be lost. The dollar will fall and the Western civilization with it. When I talk to my conservative friends right here, they always tell me that the problem is high taxes. But they're wrong. Bueno, chicos, eh, of course, ¿Qué les but even ha... those high taxes. Por, espérate un segundito, le digo que le, por favor. ¿Qué les ha parecido, campeón, esta reacción? Es algo bastante benevolente, ¿verdad? Que a veces creemos que porque pagamos tasis, las tasas, estamos financiando al gobierno, ¿no? Ese gobierno solamente tiene que imprimir mucho más dinero. Y ese dinero tiene un dinero, tiene, tiene otro, otra consecuencia, ¿no? Un dinero, cuando un país imprime mucho dinero, pues el país, el país empieza a empobrecerse. Y hay gente que no sabe esto. Bueno, hasta aquí llegó esta reacción. Espero que os haya gustado. Discurso de Daniel Bukele en inglés traducido al español.